Hello, this is Mark Tedonio from LearningExchange.ptc.com, and this tutorial is creating user-defined measurements using the Mechanism application. So the first step is to open up the Mechanism application. To do this, we're going to click on Applications, then Mechanism. Now before we can start doing measurements, we first have to have a servo motor and analysis complete. So I'm going to click on Servo Motors, and I'm going to leave the driven entity as a motion axis, and I'm going to choose this pin constraint. For the profile, I'm going to select velocity and a magnitude of 72. Now for the mechanism analysis, I'm going to click on the mechanism analysis button. And I'm going to change the type from position to kinematic. And I'm going to just make sure the motors has our servo motor selected, and it does. And I'm just going to click run. Now press OK. And now we're going to make a user-defined measurement. The user-defined measurement I'm going to show today is the maximum volume displaced by the piston head. So my first step is to find out the total area of the top of the piston head. To do this, I'm going to click on Analysis, then click on Area, and choose the top of the piston head. Now it's going to return the area to me. I just want to save this number, so I'm just going to copy it and click the check mark to complete the analysis. Now I'm going to click on the Tools button and choose Parameters. And I'm just going to add a new parameter called Area Top. And I'm going to set the value to the area that the analysis just returned to me. And then click OK. Now I'm going to go back to the Mechanism application and choose Measurements. I'm going to add a new measurement. And this one is going to be called Length max. It's going to be a separation type and the first point I'm going to measure from is going to be a point on the crankshaft so to find this I'm going to click on tools find it's going to be a point so I'm going to click on crankshaft click find now and it's point zero so I'm just going to move that over now. Now the next point is a point on the conrod, so I'm going to click on find, change that to conrod, click find now, and it's point 1. Now I'm going to leave the separation type as distance, but I'm going to change the evaluation method to maximum. The reason I chose maximum is because I want to use this standard measurement to find the maximum length between those two points. Now click OK. Now I'm going to create one more measurement. This time I'm going to name it Volume Max. And the type is going to be User Defined. The quantity is going to be Volume. To find the maximum volume displaced by the piston head, I'm going to take the area of the top of the piston head and multiply that by the length displacement maximum measurement that we just created. So first we're going to click on Constants. And my area top constant isn't there, so I'm just going to click on Add New Parameter. And I'm going to click on Area Top and Insert Selected. Now I'm just going to double click on Area Top, and it is added. Now I'm going to click on the Operations button and choose Multiplication. And then I'm going to click on the Variable button and choose Length Max. Now we're going to click OK. Before we can find these measurements, we must rerun the analysis and this is because one of our measurements used an evaluation method other than an each time step. So I'm just going to close out of the measurements for now. I'm going to click on analysis and I'm going to choose run. I'm going to overwrite it. We're going to go back to mechanism and we're going to choose measurements and now we should be able to view the length max and volume max measurements. And now click on the graph to review the results and the maximum value on the graph corresponds to the value next to volume max and that's about 23 cubic inches for the maximum volume displaced by the piston head and this is how you create user-defined measurements in Creo Parametric 1.0 well I hope you found this tutorial useful this was Mark Sidonio from learningexchange.ptc.com feel free to check out more content at PTC University or at learningexchange.ptc.com